Alien 3 1992 Rated 18 Sci-Fi Horror Director David Fincher Screenplay David Guiler, Walter Hill and Larry Ferguson Starring Sigourney Weaver, Charles S. Dutton, Charles Dance and Brian Glover When an escape pod crash lands on a prison planet it soon becomes evident that Ripley is not the only survivor to join the isolated inmates this third instalment of the so far outstanding series is not a patch on either of its predecessors, but I don't think it's as bad as it's often made out to be. It certainly has more grit and edge than the fourth instalment, which I felt was starting to tip into melodrama and cartoonish action. David Fincher, now an acclaimed director, did as good a job as he could with this, his debut feature, giving the same grimy feel to the movie that is apparent throughout the majority of his early work. Sigourney Weaver once again returns to the role of the tortured heroine Ripley, this time to be stuck in a high security all-male prison colony, although the film fails to draw any benefit from the extra fear that this could provide, and even includes her jumping straight into bed with one convict, a pointless addition and one that seemed completely out of character for her usually strong-willed self. The rest of the cast, made up of mainly British actors including two late legends, Brian Glover and Pete Postlethwaite, barely utilised in such a minor role, give admirable performances as the shaven-headed inmates, although the Finn character biographies could have been scrawled on the back of a fag packet. The alien this time round is CGI in some scenes, adding to a more fluid movement and giving the production more scope of what the creature is capable of, but for most of the time it works best when filmed as a model or when barely seen at all. The film's conspiratorial ending adds a great deal to the rest of the franchise but doesn't completely save a film that feels as though it's otherwise aimlessly drifting. I give Alien 3 3 stars. Directorial debut. David Fincher has since become one of the leading directors in Hollywood, with such greats as Seven, Fight Club, Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and Social Network holding up his filmography. Fincher doesn't like to acknowledge this film as his work, stating that the studio interference limited and stifled his own vision. 